Be strong, my son. Be courageous. And no matter how scared you may be on the inside. All right, we got a problem here. And it's that guy right there. That's the guy right there who's actually, he can, he can smell the ladies. He can smell the ladies and he's excited about it. And he's like, adios, Santoro. All right, so step number one in this process is to get Santoro inside the chute. I've done that. Uh, I've went ahead and dropped off some feed there for him. We moved Tex outside. All right. I'm gonna push up a little bit, Jake. Yeah, you go in there. That's good. Oh, watch it, Jake. Uh-uh. Go, buddy, go, buddy. Go. Come on, buddy. All right, close it up, Jake. All right, so what I've done is I've gotten Santoro inside of the bullpen stall. This is a bullpen because this gate is a whole lot heavier duty than the other smaller aluminum, aluminum gates that we have around the rest of the, the barn here. And so he's in the bullpen. I don't, still, I don't even trust this. So what I'm gonna do is bring my Argo and park it right here in front of this gate. So if he does get spooked, he can't push this gate open because uh, pretty much, no matter how strong the gate is, it's only going to be as strong as this chain with this staple. We already understand that. Um, I've also got the small tractor. Hey, buddy, he knows something's going on. We got the small tractor inside there. I also put a uh, eight foot four by four across the bucket. So once we start moving him towards the trailer, he won't be able to find as much room around the sides of the tractor. Hopefully the tractor noise with me being on the tractor, screaming and hollering, will push him right inside that trailer. Tex knows that something is going on. He doesn't like it. And I understand why he doesn't want to be alone. That's his son, you guys. Let's not forget, that's his son. And uh, once again, if you cannot see the emotions in these guys, it's a lot more than fear. It's concern, it's worry, it's love, it's I think the same emotions that we all have when we feel like there's gonna be a separation or we know we're gonna lose somebody. And Tex has been around long enough to see many a friend, look out Trixie, many a friend, many a loved one, many a partner, daughters, and now even his son being separated. And uh, there are absolutely emotions going on right here. Um, what I have to be aware of is that um, working with the bull is not like working with a with a heifer or a cow, a female. There's a whole lot more that you have to be aware of. Even a young two-year-old bull like Santoro, you have to be very aware. And then, of course, having him out and about is not going to make anything easier. My hope is that once Mr. Jake gets here, we can pull up over here and drop the females off and the calves. We're going to hope that the desire to meet the new girls will be enough to pull him away. And then we can all turn our attention to Santoro. But uh, let me go right now and get my Argo and get it parked in place. And Mr. Jake is en route. He'll be here shortly. And we want to have everything set up when he gets here to be a quick unload and load. Trixie, you might want to keep your distance today, sweetie. All right, so what I've done with the Argo is pinned it right up alongside his gate. So there's no way he can push that gate open or bend it off of the hinges. Uh, Tex, those packages are not for you. Those were gifts for me and Jamie. There might be something for you. I'm not, not sure. Hey, but your big gift is on its way over here now, okay? <laughs> well, your big gift is on its way over here now, buddy. I promise. And Santoro, you're going to go and meet your gifts. That probably sounds horrible to you all, but it's true. All right, so everyone's fine for now, guys. Everything is secured. We're looking good. Be strong, my son. Be courageous. And no matter how scared you may be on the inside, never let them see you sweat. You will walk onto that pasture. You'll hold your head up high. You will make them think that you are the baddest mother effer who's ever stepped foot on that ranch. At night, when you're scared, 
look up at the stars, look at the moon, and just know that somewhere, me and your mom are also watching that same moon, watching those same stars, and we're thinking about you. You are my son. You are the great Santoro. Well, the moment has come. Here comes Mr. Jake now. And uh, a lot of lives are gonna change today, y'all. A lot of lives are gonna change today. I feel bad for Santoro. I didn't realize that I would. You know, he's already gone off and lived with Jake for about six months and I kinda already made that separation and then to have him come back and then fatten himself up good and now he's leaving again. But uh, I will say there's a lot of emotions welling through me right now. But we're excited about what's about to happen for Tex and for our ranch in general. And just the fact that we, this is what we signed up for. We are a Longhorn Ranch and this is my future. And here comes about four more babies to add to our herd right there. Wow, looky there, they're big. Oh my goodness gracious. Hi, babies. All right, so we do have a problem, and it's this guy right here. You need to hush it up. He's like saying, beat it, Santoro. I got work to do. He's, yeah, Texas like, you need to just move on along, Santoro. I got business to take care of. <laughs> Tex, you need to hush it up. So, uh, okay. Let's unload the girls right here if you want to and get him out of our hair. All right, we're gonna unload the females right here. Hi, sweeties. Oh my goodness, Tex, come look. Oh, come on over here and say hello. Oh boy, ladies. Uh, go ahead and let them out here if you want to, buddy, and we will get him out of our hair. Come on, girls. Come on, girlies. Oh, wow, looky there. Oh my goodness, come on, babies, don't be scared. <laughs> oh man, they're pretty, buddy. Tex, leave the girl, leave the kiddos alone. Come on, little ones. Come on, babies. Come on. There we go. Oh my gosh. All right, look at this. Boy, he's excited, ain't he? Oh, he is. <laughs> they're going to want to get acquainted to the property and the smells, and he's like, uh uh, not yet. Let's take care of business first. Oh, Lord. Okay, so the good thing is now he's out of our hair. We'll come back to him a little bit later. Uh, if you want to follow me around, and we'll back up right to that front gate, and we can load him really easy. Uh-huh. All right, this is pretty easy. Um, now, he may try to resist a little bit, but what I did, I parked my wife's tractor over here with that little 4x4, four four, and I will just kind of push him forward. We'll let him out. You'll open your gates up. And if you want to stand behind me and walk up with me or whatever, we'll open him up and then he should go right in. There's no room to get out over there. And uh, he's just excited right now. Uh -uh, don't you go through there. All right, Jake, if you want to open that up and then get out of the way, I'll push him forward. All right. I'm gonna push up a little bit, Jake. Yeah, you go in there. That's good. Oh, watch it, Jake. Uh-uh. Go, buddy, go, buddy. Go. Come on, buddy. All right, close it up, Jake. He almost kicked you. Did you see that? <laughs> he put a kick at you. Did he get you? No. Boy, he tried. All right. Well, I'm excited for him. Yeah, we'll take him home, put him on a couple of heifers. Oh, boy, he's excited about that. You got some heifers waiting for you, buddy. Oh, yes. Good. And uh, how concerned are you about that? Come over here and take a peek at this testicle. I tried to talk to you a little bit about it. What are your thoughts on that over there? Or can you even see two? Different looking, but yeah. one will still get the job done. So he's a year and eight months. So I know that uh, some things that I've read, it still may be a little bit young and whatnot, but uh, he seems like he's interested in ladies. He's been trying to smell around on them every time we have a few over here. 
So I'm excited to see what happens with them. We'll give them a chance and see what happens. Get them checked out. Well, your girls look great. I, I didn't know how they were going to look, but they actually look pretty fat. Did you have a Did you have a tough time with the drought? Where they all go? They're down by the road, I think. Did the drought affect you a whole lot? Uh, yeah, we had a bunch of our grass go. Yeah. Uh, we just timbered everything right now, so uh -huh. it's mainly just brush right now we're trying to clean up. Okay. Well, they're great at that. They're eating their round bells fine. They're going to love these green fields. It's a beautiful place you've got here. Thank you. Yeah, we got rye grass. Funniest thing I ever heard. Sorry, this is farm talk, y'all. This is farmers and ranchers talking. Jake said that he knows his cows are gonna be really excited here because of the grass. He goes, they don't have a lot of grass where he's at. It's a lot of brush. And uh, he said, uh, I talked about how the crabgrass that grows here grows along the ground. It doesn't give them a whole lot of, you know, stuff to eat. And he goes, oh no, he goes, cows like to eat the tits off the grass. <laughs> he didn't say tips, he said tits. And I says, tits? He goes, yeah, the top. <laughs> that was funny, that made me laugh. We love you, buddy. Go make us proud, fella. And there goes the mighty Santoro. And Mr. Jake says he has a couple of, couple of females waiting for him. A couple of young heifers. And so we're excited about that. Now, mm -hmm, now let's all turn our attention to you know who. All right, so Jimmy and I are walking out to look at the, the new babies. Now, Everyone already knows that these two. Oh, Jamie, there's other people at the road stopping to look. Oh, people are stopping to look at the new Longhorns, which is awesome. But uh, listen, they have registered names, but those names are complicated. Uh, he's never called them by those names, so we get to rename them something practical. Right. And we're going to walk out now and have a look at them and give them some names. All right, we're about to figure out what's... Oh, we're just visiting. Look at him. Don't worry, we didn't bring anything or not taking anything away. He's like, He's like I... Uh, they, yeah, he goes, they're mine and they're not leaving. Hi, ladies. Oh, my gosh, they're gorgeous, Jamie. Look at them. Hi, beautiful ladies. Let's think about the mamas and giving them names first. I can already tell you I have a name for one. You have a name for one? Yeah. Look at the calves, how pretty they are standing. They have a great bloodline. Uh, just so everyone knows that both of the females, the, the moms, the cows, all, they're all females. Just so everyone knows, the two moms are both Schumacher. And Schumacher is by far the, uh, uh, Sadie, careful of. Gonna go meet him. She's like, hey, I'm nice. I'm Schumacher is by far the number one, y'all. They are the best as far as reputation goes in producing world-class longhorns. Um, so he's like, are you my kind? <laughs> I just want to watch this interaction here with Sadie. She wants to let them know that she's here to protect them. And they're like, she's like, you know what? They're like, we can protect ourselves. <laughs> Come on, Sadie. All right, so you say you have a name for, look at the calves, how uh -huh. cute, Jamie. Uh -huh. she's about, Hurry up, Sadie. Run, Sadie. So they yeah. are they are skinnyish. That one there's not skinny at all. She's heavy. She's she pretty hefty. Uh, so he doesn't think so. But uh, if she is, I said, you know what? If she is, it's not going to bother me because that means I'm actually getting a five for one. Think about that for a minute. I'm getting a four for one already. And if she's with calf, then that's a five for one. But yeah, you can see how skinny that one there is in the back. See her? Yeah. I thought Pearl was a skinny butt, heck. And then um, he says you'll be able to tell real fast which calf belongs to who. I can't tell yet. I'm guessing that one right there, the white yeah. one belongs to the skinny one. I think so. So Reba. Well, in that case, can we call this one over here Dolly? That would be neat. Yes, let's go with Icon, Country Icon. Country Icons. The only thing is, 
Dolly has a bigger, Dolly should have a bigger set than Reba. Oh my gosh. No, a set of horns, Jamie, a set of horns. Oh my gosh. Jamie, a set of horns, look. Look how big the set of horns is on the one you're calling Reba. Can't we call her Dolly? And call the, because uh, they're both red. Whatever you want. <laughs> Well, we can let the internet have some fun with this. How many of y'all think that we should call the one with the bigger set, Sadie. Dolly? And Dolly would be this one over here because she has a much larger set of horns. Mm -hmm. So I can see the Schumacher brand on the, the, the Reba, the S, the sideways S, the same one on the side of Tex. Can you see that on this one over here on Dolly? Walk on the side and look. Hey, settle down. So everyone knows that major cattle breeders, huh? Jamie, I don't know what that brand is. I see a three seventy-five. I just can't see the sideways S. I see an S on the back. On the back, okay. So I think we should call this one over here Dolly, Jamie, if you're okay with that, because she does have a very large set right. of horns. Okay. Now, if that's if this is Dolly and that's Reba, these babies, okay, so. How about Patsy? Like in Klein. Patsy Klein, Patsy. Oh, the all white one, can she be Patsy? Okay. Patsy, okay, and? Trish Underwood? No, Trisha Yearwood. Yearwood. Trish Year. Okay, okay. So, okay, here we go. So, everybody, you ready? Reba. Dolly. Patsy. And Trish. Oh, Is she it... just said she just... You like those She's names, like, sweetie? Okay, you right? like those names? Texas like, I don't care what that name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna call you Monday and your Tuesday <laughs> oh God, and your Wednesday. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is terrible. All right, my friend. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.